everybody, Bill Batson, Batson Enterprises here today with Adam J. First time Adam J has been up here in the great Northwest. Yes. Yes, yeah. very first time. Yeah. Chilly, but absolutely <laughs> beautiful. Yeah, we well, flew in last night. We've got three days of an amazing trip we're going to do. Um, excited to have you. You've been part of the team now for a couple years. Yes, yes I have. Yeah. Yes, I have. Yeah. Love being a part of the team. I've been wanting to come up here for a couple years, too. Yeah. So it's um, kind of a dream come true to finally make it happen. Excellent. Well, like I said, we're happy to have you up here. Um, I know that we're gonna, today we're going to go crabbing. Ooh. Dungeness crabbing. I know you've never done anything like that. No, no. So me, you, and Keller and uh, Jeff are gonna head out and do some crabbing today. Do awesome. a little power launch on the beach and drop the boat in and drop our traps. And it's a tide thing, so we're gonna hit the tide just right and okay. have a good time. And yeah. then next couple of days, we're gonna be on the river. We're gonna do some salmon fishing on the river on drift boats. Ooh. Yeah, we're gonna Ooh. do a couple of days of that. I get to fish one of these customs in here. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll throw a couple of yeah, <laughs> we'll throw a couple of customs in there. Yeah. You know, fishing a ten and a half foot float rod on the river. You know, yeah, that's that's gonna be different. Yeah, that's it's it, different. definitely things you've never done. No, which is no. which is amazing. You know, I like to broaden my horizons in regards to fishing. You know, doing a lot of different species, a lot of different things. You know, and look forward to using some uh, some blanks that I may not have tried out yet. Exactly. Um, you, you know, I'm a big fan of my immortals yeah um my rx6 yeah uh, my revelation yeah so big fan of uh definitely what i'm fishing right now and really looking forward to trying out some new stuff perfect yeah we're gonna maybe design some new sticks for you while you're here get you add to that collection you know it's always nice to add to the collection you know as you can see my collection you know <laughs> I know that you like to fish the the immortals down yes. there, the medium lights for the yes. flounder and the trout. Love the action. Yeah. Love my my fast tip, but my my mean backbone. Right. So I can feel my bite, but I can set that hook and bury it when I need to. Yeah, and you're you're getting to a lot of big sharks too on that RCTB. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. In fact, um, I think uh, the biggest to date that I have down on that rod is a fourteen uh, three. Greater hammerhead. Whoa, that's a monster. Boca. Yeah. So it's a monster. And I've got a couple three, probably 250, 350 pound class uh Goliaths on my uh, 40 to 80. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, RX6. Yep. So you've been fishing that um, new Rain Shadow stand-up tuna too that Italo built for you that you did on the video for the King Kong video. Yeah. yeah, that thing is bowed up. Oh, yeah, put it down, put it down. Hour and forty-five minutes on that big bluefin. Yeah. So. Yeah. And that rod made like all the difference in me being able to do that hour and forty-five minute fight because I wasn't fighting my equipment. No. You know what I mean? Yep. Um, that 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 plays a tremendous part in me being able to do a lot of these big fish that I do because I'm not a big guy. Right. You know, I'm a little guy, so I need my rod to do a lot of the work. And, yeah. Uh, it's good, it's good to have a good tools, you know, yes. you know, yes. if you can have a chainsaw over a handsaw any day of the week, right? I'm <laughs> yes. taking the chainsaw, right? Yeah, Get the work done. <laughs> so exciting to have you up. Um, is there anything you look forward to while you're here? You know, besides, you know, the new experiences? Um, I mean, honestly, you know, being here and being able to see your collection is something that I look forward to a lot. Which I know I did a little walk around here yeah. a little while ago, but um, I'm definitely going to spend a little bit more time in this room. This is a good room to, you know, if you haven't touched something, because I have almost everything built in here, yeah. is to pick it up and pull on it and say, you know, oh, this one feels good or maybe one power heavier, you know, because we want to get you some new sticks. Like yeah. I said, we're going to add to your collection. Yeah, that's another thing that I'm excited about doing, too, is putting my hands on some new rods and um, getting a feel for, you know, so things because there's not you know we have a we have a uh you know a few builders down in the in the southern texas area right. but nothing compared to what y'all have going on out here on the uh, west coast yeah well you know we got the all oh, the big guys you know yes, jim trelecki's yes, yes. and doc ski and you know those kind of guys you know so, bill havens i mean these guys are yeah. awesome builders i mean and it's cool for me too though because back home i get to put a lot of your rods into people's hands that normally would not have the chance sure. to play around with the custom. So yeah. I've turned on a lot of guys that have gotten into the custom world just because they love the feel of that built to my specifications, you know, sure. how heavy or how light right. or action. Right. Just, 
so much that goes into it that really, really makes you a better fisherman when you get to that level. It does. It definitely yeah. makes you a better fisherman. I know there's some good guys down in Texas. Arturo. Yes. Arturo builds Building a it. beautiful rod. You know, Bill mazel has been building down yes. there for a Bill while. Yeah, you know, smash. Yeah, there. does does some Boy, nice building. Some really good guys pumping some guys up. Uh, Stuff, stuff out of his shop. Oh yeah, down there, Rockies. Yeah, Roy's is awesome. You know, obviously, my dad and Roy were friends, and Rocky and I are the same age. Our kids are the same age. We've known each other for a long time. Yeah. Roy's down in Corpus Christi. They do a great job. Yeah, really. You great know, job. so um, like I said, just looking forward to having you here. Um, we're gonna probably do more videos. We got a drone video we're gonna do while we're fishing. Um, take some nice photos today, crabbing. But welcome to the Great Northwest. Thank you for having me. Bro. All right. Thank you for having me. All right, everybody. We'll, we'll film some more later, but for now, fish on. Big fish fix soon to come. There you go. Thank you. All right, everybody, day two of Adam J's visit. Adam J, it's awesome having you up here, hanging yeah. out, yeah. you know. Um, we had a great time yesterday. Today we got weathered out a little bit. If you know anything about the great Northwest, you know when the rain comes, sometimes there's not much you can do, and our, our river trip got blown out today, but the next couple days look pretty good, so you'll see some footage from that. Mm. But um, it happens, so it gives us time to hang out in the office, yeah, yeah. design some new rods for yeah. your for your collection, you know, and then you can go around and meet the whole team yeah. and do some videos and things like that. Yeah. So everything happens for a reason. God does amazing things. Amazing things. Perfect timing. Yeah, perfect, perfect timing. timing. Every Always. time. Every time. So. Hey, yesterday was cool, man. Yeah. I, uh, I was surprised at how dialed in y'all were on the crap thing. <laughs> I mean, there was yeah. like no challenge to it at all. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Make two drops, two pulls. Yep, got our 20 crab. Yeah, fill the boat. Yeah. That was dope. Yeah, it was dope. It's Didn't expect that. Beautiful day. I mean, yeah. the wind was down yeah. and there was no waves. And yeah, we've got the crabbing pretty much dialed in. We've yeah, been doing yeah. it for 22 years now. Like a Swiss watch. Yeah. I mean, to the T, got it down. <laughs> we've taken people from all over the world. And that's a highlight for a lot of people. It's yeah. just the crabbing alone. Yeah. You know, and how big those Dungeness are. Monsters. You know, and how many are actually in the pot and how yeah. many you actually keep, you know. But yeah, it was it was an amazing trip. So. Yeah, I grew up crabbing back home, and it was uh, it was a little different. Yeah, it was a little different. Blue crab. So yes, yeah, yes, the blue crab. Yeah. But the way we did it was definitely a little different. I mean, we never you know paid attention to tidal movement. You um, don't have any tide. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> everybody keeps telling me up here. Right. But yeah, I, I just it was different. We would go out you know on a Saturday, and there was no time, there was no plan. It was just put the chicken leg in, put the fish in, and, right. and bring them in. And you guys were. Surgical with it, bro. Oh, yeah. Surgical. Yeah, it was we, dope. Yeah, we know when the, the crab are moving and where yeah. to be and and all the stuff. So, yeah, it's 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 always a fun That was adventure. awesome. So, yeah. They were, they were definitely dialed in on the crab now. The, the, uh, the rock uh, fish we, last we night. Go. <laughs> go on, go on. So, we had a little derby last night. We decided to go to the marina and yeah. catch some rock fish and uh, had a little tournament, see yeah. who could do most fish and biggest fish. Yep. Yeah. Um, Bill here obviously took the big fish award. Yep, barely. Know, barely. Yeah, barely, barely, barely. And yeah. uh, and Texas, Texas came with it. You know, took yeah. on the most fish. Yeah, you were down, yeah. down like five to one, and I was he down came bad. back. And he just whooped on everybody. What'd you end up with? Twenty one. Uh, Twenty two. Twenty two. Landslide, baby. Landslide, Landslide win. I think Keller was closest <laughs> with, with fourteen. Yeah, Keller. So, so but that was fun though. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. fun. Yeah, so. Um, Today, like I said, we're just going to do some filming here and looking forward to our next two days on the water. Excited. Oh, yeah. And the salmon Excited. fishing and the rivers are going to come in and we're going to get some great footage. And so I'm looking forward to it. So anyways, this is day two. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, Adam J's visit. He'll be here for five days, so be looking for some more videos, and we'll probably end up just putting it all together and making one yeah. big, long Adam J trip. So be looking for more. All right. Have all a nice right. day. Batching for life, baby. Amen.